Hey there, what's going on? It's Brad Stinson with Team Brad Stinson, and I'm sitting here with Tom Stearns. What's up, buddy? How you doing, bud? Hey, uh, this is a, our first podcast. Uh, Tom and I have joined forces underneath the Veterans Homefront and Benchmark Mortgage, and uh, we decided to unite the tribes here in Michigan Absolutely. and start a podcast called Tactical Mortgage Talk. Yeah, Tactical Mortgage Talk. So... Um, Brad and I talking and just uh, going over some things, thought that well, no, no better way, right, for us to um, get the message out there, not only to our veterans, but all those that uh, support veterans and our veteran advocates. So uh, I feel that this podcast is, can be uh, extremely advantageous to, uh, again, all, all veterans as well as uh, those that support veterans, <clears throat> and not just in a real estate way, I, I don't think. Do you, just, buddy? Yeah, no, not at all. I mean, it's whoever wants to get involved and give back. I mean, cause it's pretty truly amazing. I think you can even speak to this, how, how much it changes your life when you get involved and help veterans do something, whether it be in any walk of life, not just getting them into a home. Absolutely. Absolutely. And just, yeah, the overwhelming, um, just gratitude to be able to serve those that have served us has been, you know, truly life changing for me and, uh, and for our team. And, um, obviously, the, one of the best ways that we can do that, as far as an RY goes, is is to do it within what we do do, and that's to be able to provide that veteran with uh, the American dream of home ownership, the one that we went overseas and fought for. Right? Absolutely. Um, you know, it's it's pretty important to understand that across the country on a daily basis, veterans are getting taken advantage of. Yep. And it really pisses me off. And FYI, I might swear. Tom's probably going to swear. So, if, you know, if offended by that, I'm sorry. But typical Marine. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit about me. I'm a Marine Corps veteran and I specialize in VA home loans. Um, I joined the Veterans Home Front at Benchmark Mortgage about a month ago. And I can tell you that uh, the direction of this company is phenomenal. Absolutely. The, it's truly incredible to see the owners of the company so passionately involved wanting to give back because it's an epidemic across the country. Veterans are getting taken advantage of by these shitty, shady lenders. Absolutely. And, it, and it's maybe it's not the lender's fault, but I can absolutely guarantee that there's three of them that I can think of that it is their fault. Yeah. Okay. But your, your local lenders, it's not their fault that they, they only originate one or two VA home loans in a year. So that they're going to mess up those guidelines. Right. But there's resources available, reach out. And that's the, the industry that we work in. It's very ego driven. Absolutely. And people and are afraid to ask for help. Absolutely. And, and you know, that's why a large part, we want to do something like this and, and bring this and, and, and help you to get it out to others and say, Hey, you know, you should check these two goofballs out uh, that are talking, but in, in all sincerity though, um, the knowledge that we have and that we're able to give to these veterans to, to do that, them in the right way, you know, to help him or her get into that home and to help them realize their benefits and how they can take advantage of those benefits. And so many people just don't know. And well, let's kick this off and start with rule number one when dealing with veterans. <laughs> rule number one when dealing with veterans, never, ever, ever assume that us veterans know our benefits because we don't. Right. right. I mean, it's ever changing. It changes every day. I'm on the VA website almost all the time. And there are areas of that website I've never been to, such as health benefits, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. And what the hell is a VA home loan specialist doing on the health side? Probably applying for my own disability claim, but I don't know anything about the healthcare side. Right. Now, the home loan side, I know quite a bit. And if I don't know it, I'm going to, I have people. Yeah. We have, <laughs> we have the best that must be said that we have the best of the best people. Yes. From underwritings to our different connections that we have, you know, with the um, Department of Veteran Affairs. I mean, yeah, the the ability for us to get answers as a company for our veterans uh, when it comes to that home loan side of things is to me is just uh, I don't know of another company that can do it and do it in the time that we do. It, it's not only it's that coupled with the benchmark never quit attitude that we've Absolutely. really you know embodied. Because that's the thing with the VA home loan. If you never quit on the VA home loan, it's going to go through. Absolutely. You know, there's so many, the VA guidelines are written in a way that leave a lot up to interpretation for the lender. 
you know. Yep. And what's really pissing me off lately is I keep hearing people blame the VA. <laughs> The right. VA is going to take 45 days for the appraisal. Bullshit. No. Bullshit. No, sorry, you don't understand the appraisal process. Yeah, <laughs> you don't because right. the VA is the only one that's held to strict timeliness. Right. You know, if we request the appraisal, they, the appraiser has 24 hours to make contact. Correct. You know, and then from there, they have two weeks right. to finish and complete and upload the appraisal. <clears throat> yes. Yep. So... Riddle me that, Batman. How the right. hell is it going to take 45 days? And how many other appraisers, uh, appraisals, uh, as far as any other loans, have two opportunities to change value? Exactly. So if, if we're a conventional buyer, the appraiser comes out and says, hey, the property's worth 180 But we agreed to a $200,000 purchase price. Right. Well, you know, either you, the buyers are walking away or we're renegotiating or bringing cash to the table yeah. at closing. But one of the most frustrating parts for me, and I, I know for you as well, is <clears throat> the myths and misconceptions that real estate agents, builders <clears throat> uh, have in our industry right and now. And lenders. Lenders and veterans. And, yeah, absolutely. I mean, everybody's at fault. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, people don't know what they don't know, and it's become more evidently clear to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and, again, we're, I'm not trying to blame anybody. It's just you don't know what you don't know, but you also have to be humble enough to receive help or ask for help. Because right. if you're not going to ask for help, you're really fucking over a veteran. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I, I agree with you 100%. I mean, and there's a ways that things can be done. And for that matter, change and change the, the outlook, the perception. That's my thing. It's just that I'm so passionate right now to help others just change their perceptions. I mean, obviously, these classes we go out and teach, right? Mm -hmm. These classes, you get a vet, you get uh a real estate agent there and initially sometimes you know <clears throat> we get those agents there because they want those three, three ce credits and to see the reception that we get when someone leaves and says hey i came initially for credits but i've never been more fired up about yeah. helping our veterans that's that's why we're doing this yeah i think the i, I like doing the three hour ce class it's a fun class for me to teach but the the lunch and learns are the ones that i enjoy doing the one and one one and a half hour class because you get people there that are so skeptical, and it's right. awesome. I love it. Just recently, I taught a class to a room full of agents, probably about 35 agents, and I was easily the youngest one in the room by 20 years. So those are the type of agents I'm dealing with. Right. Okay. Um, who have been burnt by the VA home loan, air quotes, burnt by the VA home loan in the 90s, sure. so therefore I'm never going to accept a VA offer again, right. and the VA loan sucks, and this, that, the other. Well- I was taken aback by the fact that I was the youngest one. I was not prepared for that one because usually, you know, usually it's, you know. Usually but, there's one or two more. Yeah. Um, but I knew because I've, I've taught so many classes that I'm going to get heckled for about 10 minutes. This is where your, your knowledge is going to pay off. Yeah. Right. You, of course, condos was the first one. Appraisals was the second one. Right. <laughs> so you start citing page and chapter from the VA lender handbook yeah. and or circulars you know oh right. maybe this guy does know what the hell he's talking about right. so if you shut them up in the, the first five minutes and i say sh i say that in a competitive way i don't mean that in an arrogant way tactfully you, you know tactfully. um if you pre if you show that you know your shit right. like at the end of that class every single agent was like uh dude that they didn't say dude they said sir <laughs> you know because yeah, I mean, the, they're respectful but i mean it was just a phenomenal feeling to be able to change that entire room's yeah perception that, of the VA home loan, and that's to me, that's that's why we do what we're doing, what we're doing for the, our veterans right now, and mm -hmm. what we need to continue to do and strive forth to do forth, um, you know, and even if it is one of our competitors to get the deal, but that's, to yeah. change the idea and the perception that the VA loan is a bad loan, <clears throat> uh, you know. We talk about overlays, right? Yeah. How many overlays? Or blame the VA for things. <laughs> right. Or blame the VA for things. How many overlays does a VA loan have? Technically two. <laughs> right. So in comparison. And one of them is actually false. Right. In comparison to what? The FHA, conventional, is, USDA. Yeah. <clears throat> What's the most, uh, you know, solid loan when it comes to a bank or a financial institution? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a VA home loan. I mean, there's so many reasons why it's a, f a fantastic product. And we'll absolutely dive into these throughout 
the tenure of this podcast. Yeah, you know, absolutely. and bring on, you know, bring on uh, veteran-owned businesses. Like I, I do a lot of work with veteran inspections. It's, it's services. Michael Morris, he's a fellow Marine, um, and he and I have really put together a program to offer a free pest and termite with a home inspection to every veteran. And it's really starting to change the way the VA offers are being yeah. looked at, which is fucking phenomenal. And, and again, like not only you, know, you talk about that partnership, partnership that I have, like, you know, with David Balsam, one of the owners at um, Premier Lake Shore title, huge veteran advocate, mm-hmm. weighs his, waves the closing fee for our, for our veterans. So, you know, then, you know, we just smell some of the myths that the sellers have to pay for fees, right? <laughs> That's my personal favorite, man. <laughs> I go, I go, I go crazy for this one because it's not true. It's just, it's half true. Right. But let me, t- let me ask you this question, Tom, you've been doing this for a while. Who in their right mind charges two thousand dollars to originate a two hundred thousand dollar home right. loan? Unbelievable! Unbelievable! <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, I can tell you who. Yeah, I Navy know who. Fed. Yeah, USA. I know who. Right? Yeah. So <laughs> and, and these guys, you know, the uh, the the pushback that we always get is it's my fiduciary responsibility to do what's best for my client. Well, making them overpay at closing is doing right. what's best for your client. No, it is not. And somebody that could only be there for three years because they're gonna, you know they're going to move to the next. Mm, correct. And, right. You know, there's a lot to be said about that too. Right. You know, why are you going to pay thirty thousand dollars cash at close when you don't need to? Right. You know, why- especially for a home that you're not going to be in. Why would you pay for these points up front to get this rate when you can do yeah. total cost analysis to show the veteran, look at here, here's what you're doing. Here's here's how these other people are misleading you to say that their rate is a point below and so on and so forth. You, they're you know they're very <laughs> crafty with the way that they word things. Correct. You know, like you I mean, it's got even gotten to the point now where my dad is receiving mailers every day from a colonel yeah and you know yeah. you know the adage always stays true if it's if it sounds too good to be true it probably is probably is you know that's why you want to call somebody that kn- you know has your back and that's one of the greatest things and that's what attracted me back to to benchmark was the fact that the first part of the veterans home front no more yeah. No Will more. the veteran be taken advantage of hell yeah yeah <laughs> you know, like, exactly it, right so right. <clears throat> I get the feeling that we're on the verge of building something to rival the big ones. Absolutely. You know, and it's intoxicating to be around. Yeah. And, you know, again, you know, you, you think about our, you know, our owners, Jim McMahon, um, Stuart Hunter and, and Brian Harlan and what they're doing and, and how they're pushing this mission and this message out. It's just, it's just awesome. I'm so proud to be a part of it. Yeah, it is. It it's is. phenomenal. And, you know, it was all, it, you know, we've been doing boot and shoot for years. You know, and right. it, it blew my mind that we never built off of it, you know, yeah. and it, it, it had to take something tragic to make right. it, you know, and I hate to say it that way, but, but it's true. true. Yeah, it's true. And what an awesome event. I mean, we shot a boot and shoot together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's, it's sweet. <laughs> I mean, know? I've when, never seen so much money change hands in 24 hours. Right. Holy and, shit. And to raise over a million dollars in, in one day. Um, and for those of you who don't know that are just new to our podcast, boot and shoot is uh, been recognized as the most patriotic day in Texas. Oh, Semper Fi. Yeah. Get some. So, <laughs> um, definitely check it out because it's, it's, it's one of the ways that we help veterans. Uh, yeah, they immensely. give back to 22 Kill Brain Treatment Foundation Brain Treatment and Foundation. Um, what's the third one? Boots? Boots campaign? Or? Yeah, the boots. boots. Ground boots. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. We're going to have to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, right. Um, no, but hey, so look at this is this is the bottom line with this podcast. Uh, we're going to bring in uh, real estate agents. We're going to bring builders. We're going to bring in um, underwriters. Uh, veterans. You know, veterans. Uh, veterans that we helped. Um, we just want to, to take this thing to a new level that people can come as a resource and, and find great things for their veterans and, and help spread a message that we're, we're here to do the veteran right and bottom line, never quit. Yeah, absolutely do what's right for the veteran. So I think right now is a good time to talk about why we're doing what we're doing, you know, like our personal wise, like our personal missions. Yeah. You know, um, I've, I've noticed a big change in you. Like what happened? Like what what is your passion? What drives you, Mr. <laughs> Thomas, Thomas Stearns, Thomas uh, Michael? You know, so for me, it really came down to um, at one point just – we had just finished doing a, a, a loan for a veteran, and the it was one just such a great borrower to work with, 
because they are so easy and technologically savvy and can <laughs> upload things, but just awesome with my team to work with. But really came down to, you know, <clears throat> every morning I get up and I know that there are better men and women than me that have fought to protect our freedoms. And <clears throat> knowing that and going forward with that, uh, I asked myself, like, how can I give back? You know, what, what would be the best way that I can give back in order for these people that absolutely must be honored for the things that they have done? And this just initiative that our company has with the Never Quit, it just struck a chord in me. And it struck a chord in me in the sense of, you know, I have the opportunity, I have the knowledge, the know-how, the company, uh, the team to really truly change a veteran's life and the more and more that I have dug into this um, I'm blown away how much they're taken advantage of um, and the people in our industry that just don't know yeah. and the agents and builders that have all these myths or misconceptions when really all said and done they should be running out these kind of loans yep. and and not just the loans they should be running to 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 honor those who have served for us i mean that i mean that's my biggest end of my why is you know it's an honor for me to serve those who've served us period it's awesome good to hear man you know i can speak to the fact that i didn't really feel like i trans transitioned home until i purchased a home as cheesy as that sounds so when i bought our house in 2012, I really felt comfortable again, you know, so I, I had about five years in which I was just like floating, you know, I just, man, eh, don't, you don't really fit in here. Don't, I don't, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. You're, you're still an idiot, you know, like <laughs> those, those people. And you, I just didn't really have a place, nowhere to go. And I wanted nothing to do with my time in service. I, if you would have asked me in 2009, hey, what'd you do the last four years? Nothing, <laughs> you know, right. like it, it was just, the way I was that just where my mind was. And then when I purchased the home, the Marine came out in me. I mean, I Marine Corps flag right in the middle of the yard. Boom. You know, you can definitely tell a Marine lives at my house. Right? <laughs> just, I'll just throw that out there. Just throw that right? one out there. Uh, because I have the nicest yard in the, on the whole block. Right. Sure. Because we appreciate things that we haven't had. Right. right. Whole different outlook of life. And, like it just really, I knew, I know the intrinsic value it had on me. That's right. Awesome. And the whole bunch of other things were going on in my life at that time. Uh, I found out a Marine I served with had killed himself and it really made me think like, dude, we saw the same things and did the same stuff. How am I like transitioning and I'm okay. And he took that route, right. you know, and it, you know, long story short, I mean, it all boiled down to the fact that, I need to I need to get involved. I need to start talking to veterans. I need to get comfortable with it because if I share what I I went through and where I'm at now and how I got through it, maybe that could help one person. Right. You know, and where I was working at at the time didn't really allow me to. And when I became a loan officer, I was like, this is how I can do it. This is exactly how I can do it. You know, and not only that. All the problems that I had before, now that I'm doing what I'm doing currently. They're all gone. That's awesome, dude. You know, it's it, awesome. I've never been in a better mental place. And each and every, like, I, you know, it's funny. You know, you talk to other loan officers and they're like, oh, yeah, I got five leads today. Or I, I got 25 leads, you know, the ones that pay, <laughs> pay for their lending tree shit. And they're like, I got nothing out of it. I mean, so pissed off. Right. Right. But I can go a whole day. I can go a whole week without having any quality leads, air quotes. But I know I'm helping a veteran. I've done a really good job building out my network of people and connecting them with the right resources available to them. Right. So at the end of the week, if I don't have any quality leads, you know, I can still rest easy at night could be because I know that I'm giving back and I'm getting involved and helping my brothers in arms. Now, yeah. it'd be nice. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> you know, but right. <clears throat> that's not what it's all about. Right. For me. And I tell you, man, I mean, you know, I've been in this industry 21 years now, and I really kind of hit a, a, a low. I mean, and just within transition and moving from one company to the next, uh, you know, there's always that tidbit of it. But um, 
this for me has been huge. I mean, it has rekindled my spirits of why I do what I do. Um, and you know, when you do something for the same for 21 years, sometimes it, you know, it gets kind of boring <laughs> and no, uh, <laughs> you don't say monotonous, but, uh, um, not this job, not this job. 30 year fixed mortgages but, are freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, it's, it's renewed my heart, but it's renewed my heart because I'm, I've gotten to know and understand and see more ve- veterans in the way that I can help them. And it's just it's rekindled my why as to why I'm an originator and why I do what I do. That's awesome. I mean, that's awesome. And the whole, whole goal that Tom and I talked about, you know, we kind of hit on why we're doing this podcast, but you know, we need to spread the word. We need to spread the message that there are true advocates across the country. Yeah. That we know. Yeah. Frankly, I'd say the the best work for us. Yeah. I mean, (laughs) The team of elite VA home loan specialists that I work with, I mean, right. geez, dude, you got a Navy SEAL. The, right. That guy, he, he's an expert at the VA home loan. Sure. I hate saying expert because it's always evolving and, you know, cause you could specialize in it. Yeah. And if you call yourself a pro or right. a guru, you know, you're going to get that one question that you go, fuck, I don't know. Right. <laughs> there goes all your got credibility you got you know? me right you know so oh. i mean i i use the word specialist but and he does too but he him and the big guy the big yeah fella, i mean the incredible hulk to have you know jay uh, you know jay mcmakin and andrew paul as part of our team those two are the only two i would refer to as a va expert yeah and so we, number one we got to get them on our podcast they and will they, they, they'll come on you know I'll um, use the Marine card to get Jay on. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, we, uh, um, no, we definitely have to have them on. And as well as, you know, our top VA underwriter, um, I think that would be great. I, I think people could really appreciate that, especially from a realtor builder standpoint, you know, to have them on and even open up for questions or you guys can send your questions, guys and gals can send your questions in beforehand so that we can address them with yeah. the underwriter. I mean, I, I don't even live. mind going, doing like a panel. I mean, you know, we have panel people here, you know, you know, our, once a week or however many times we're going to do this. Yeah. You know, right. We're going to be. I think we should this. just do it and do it until we cram it down their throat so that everybody knows we're doing the TMT. Everybody knows. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, tactical mortgage talk for our veterans in honor of our veterans. In, right? <laughs> imperfect action trumps perfect action every time. Every time. Perfect inaction. Sorry. Yeah. So, so we just kind of threw this together and, you know, we're still flying by the seat of our pants. We don't even have a logo yet. And I was telling Tom, like, shit, we don't have a logo. <laughs> but let's hey, just go it's for all it. good. Yeah. We're going to dive feet first and we're going to do it, man. Just get spread the word because we owe it to our nation's heroes. I owe it to my brothers in arms and I owe it to the guys who took their took the time to mentor me. Yeah. You know, like I'll be, <laughs> dude, Andrew Paul and Jay McMakin took time out of their day to help me get to where I'm at today. And I'll be damned if I if I let them down, right. you know. And when the, I, th- I think back all the time to my very first conversation with AP, like, and I said, "Hey, thanks for taking the time." I just passed my test like Wednesday, and I think I talked to him on Thursday or Friday. And I, I thanked him for taking the time. He's like, "When the time is right, you will pay it forward, and I expect you to pay it forward." Roger that, right? Right, dude. He's so. Like he's a prophet, man, because I was like, okay, I got to pay it for it. So I, I thought I was, I had to meet with, like talk to these people and help them get started. No, it's not that it's by paying it forward. It's bringing people with me. Yeah. You know, like they're, I'm only one person. Right. Right. But I have a, a passion and drive that people tell me to calm down all the time. Cause I just want to go, 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 go. Um, I don't, I'm not one, I'm not where I want to be knowledge wise when I'm getting there. And that's where, that's where the team comes into play, right? Absolutely. And unite the tribes, man. I mean, we have three benchmark branches in West Michigan. Yep. I guess technically on the fourth. Yeah. Um, yep. Kalamazoo, Grand Rapids, sure. Grand Haven. Yep. Unite the tribes, man. Yep. You know, collectively under the, the veterans home front, we have a loud voice. Yeah, we do. We you do. Know? And again, I mean, what an awesome to be w- – associated with a company like benchmark mortgage with our whole never quit i mean it just continues to blow me away and it continues to blow me away not only by the leaders of our company but those that are in our company yeah i mean right chad fleming just announced he's part of our 
exactly. our team now. Right. Like, I mean, like, yeah. Use me however you want. It's like, really, Chad? Exactly. <laughs> hey, like, you know, and, and that being said, go to our websites. Go to both of our websites. Click on the tab for veterans. Check out some of the videos that we've put together. Mm -hmm. Right? There's a video there with Marcus Luttrell and Chad Fleming. It's just an, an amazing video. It's an amazing testimony. I'll tell you, if I ask any veteran to go to my website and just click on that tab, they never go anywhere. Yeah. Because they know. We are legit. And, you know, place. that's the thing. You know, like, most veterans, almost every veteran, can tell if somebody's full of shit within a half a minute. Right. You know, because nobody wants to be sold, let alone a veteran. Yeah, you know, and that I have, I have a really hard time to this day still like really being a hard salesman. I, you know, I went them over with my personality and the fact that we have a commonality, a common bond because the veteran bond cannot be broken. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, it can be broken if you do something stupid, Sure, but I mean, uh, if a veteran walks through the door right now, I respect the hell out of him. He doesn't have to, he doesn't, he's already earned my respect. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I know a lot of veterans that feel the same way. And with that and the experience and the passion and drive and everything that is coming out, like I'm just floored. I can't wait to see where this company is next year, where yeah. we're at next year. Amen, where, buddy. What's going on with the veteran you know, housing market. I mean, shit, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. It's definitely going to be interesting. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. I'm excited to, that we took the time to do this, man. Yeah, absolutely. And so. it's fun. Right, we got to figure out our first guest. Who do you want to be your first guest? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I would say Michael Morris, but I he's too busy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is a good thing to have. I mean, I told him my goal, my personal goal is to send him enough business that he him and his wife can go to Bora Bora next year. <laughs> he's like well dude i need about 10 more and i need to hire an assistant <laughs> well i'm trying you know but uh maybe him maybe an appraiser, we no, gotta find I, an appraiser. I, i've got an appraiser come on because that, that'd be awesome i want to ask you awesome. how, what's the perfect it's a her or what Whoa. miss miss mm -hmm. appraiser yep. what's the perfect tidewater yeah you know how would you like us to do tidewater right what is Tidewater? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Right. Uh, Tidewater. And if you don't know what Tidewater is, you Tune definitely in next need week. to keep on this. <laughs> you need to be on this podcast with us. And it sounds really dirty, but it's actually not, I promise. It's actually a really good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a very good thing. <laughs> step, step one, right? Step one, <clears throat> trust so. in the process. So. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the initial podcast for Tactical Mortgage Talk. Tactical Mortgage Talk. Thank you all for coming on. Thanks for listening. Tune in next week. Semper Fi. Have a great week, guys.